Hello, so it's very nice to have you back. Today we are talking about the Flipper 1. Not the Flipper 0, as you probably thought when I mentioned the word Flipper, but it's because that the original creator is actually creating a new unit called Flipper 1. And I'm going to bring you some updates today. So I already created a video about the Flipper 1 with schematics and so on. There's also a link in the description to that video if you want to review that. But I'm not going to repeat myself in this video. So basically, I'm going to talk about the newest updates images that the creator posted on his channel about the Flip01. So let's go ahead and check those out right away. As you can see here, it's a sketch image. Of course, the device itself is not made. It is not something that is a prototype. This is a very polished image, as you can see. It looks like some high merchandise, some high tech device, high quality you can go ahead and buy somewhere. But this is not developed yet. But looking at this device, it kind of brings the same kind of vibe as the original Flipper Zero did. Um, taking on the same kind of display graphic, not really wasting all the time on creating a lot of graphics and motion that way, but actually going forward with the more simplistic style is going to save you battery time. As you can see, there are many different questions that could be asked. We are seeing at a, a small uh, mic hole right here, basically meaning that we can talk to it or what. Um, we are definitely seeing the same kind of flipper device with the back button and uh, control wheel options as before. We are seeing a new one over here, which is, I don't know what that is exactly, but it could be some other kind of, you know, options you can go ahead and switch between. Also, we do see down below it says speaker, so we're definitely going to go ahead and as expect some sort of sound. It's speaking to us. I would say that's... You know, talking to it and, and it can speak is a nice add-on. I definitely think it's going to be, well, what kind of, you know, s split the sheeps and the cows or whatever we're going to say. <laughs> it's looking like a really high-end device. And we can see here below there are some connector stuff. I, it looks like that or it's a graphic. I don't really know. Um, we can also see there's a button right there on the top, so the orange thing. And this is Wi-Fi LAN and LAN 1, so basically that means that probably how we're connected to something, I would guess. So it already have some, some sort of, you know, uh, connectivity thing going on. What we're seeing out here, right, right here, it looks like, uh, it could be some sort of signals, radio signals of some sort. Um, kill indicating that it's something that we can try and disrupt in a certain way and that definitely going to go ahead and make it a lot more interesting um whenever this device comes out we also see like other different kind of things here like i think it's actually a no button a yes button probably use something like for options and then close the device and something with zoom i guess or search so these are very interesting uh buttons this one up here usually i would say I cannot remember from the sketch drawings, but if I'm not mistaken, it's probably to switch in between multiple screens and programs, which can also run on this device. And we also have a small, I would say a battery indicator, whether it's charging or not, and how much uh, we have left. Now, already now we're seeing a device here that is, you know, really much ahead. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the next image. We're seeing here on the next image that we are actually charging the device and it definitely says that we are charging and the battery is being charged. So that was actually correct as we talked about before. So I, I guess this is going to be like next level stuff. Now, something that I did mention in the other video is um, that this device is not going to be just another Flipper Zero, you know, with a new shell. It's going to be a Flipper One. So that basically means there's going to be a small handheld computer. Uh, as he announced, that can be run either as a low power unit or a high power unit. Now, running as a low power basically means, you know, using it like a normal Flipper Zero, I would guess, with some extra options and software and so on. Uh, but using it 
and it has a high power device. It's going to give us the possibilities to use it as a small computer. And that could be um, connected to screens and so on and running a full issue of Linux. I don't know exactly which distribution, Ubuntu, Kali, something like that, but it can be changed. But just the fact that it's going to be running a full OS brings a lot more options to the table. So we're seeing the device here again in a more like sketch way with like, this is how we're going to carry the device with uh, at least like armrest something, you know, looking very fancy. We can see that from, from the side, it does say USB-C right there. And I guess from what I understood in some conversations uh, from the original creator is that USB-C is probably the one that is most sought for, but should it be micro USB or USB-C or whatever? Well, we don't really know what's going to end up, but the sketch route itself is going to be, um, of course, really polished. And I kind of like what I'm seeing. So yeah, of course, we also need to see the behind of it and it looks really, uh, solid. Uh, we are seeing the, the back here saying Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. I don't know exactly what this means. Um, I just have some text right here, but it doesn't really matter. Sonic screws, and we do have some LAN, you know, normal network, uh, connector sticks, uh, RJ45, uh, looks like that at least. Uh, it could also be some smaller versions. I'm not really sure of these images. Uh, the button here has some text on the top of it. I'm not really sure what it says. We see there is an HDMI right there. So it looks like a USB and two USB Cs. What this is here right here, I don't really know, but it could be either just some, you know, exhaust or something or ventilation stuff or just a sign, or it could be, well, there's also the button here. So maybe it's just going through for ventilation, but we don't really know yet. Um, and we also have some pins over here. Um, uh, looks like we can connect different kinds of things, five watts, it says, and it could be like these GPIO pins. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely going to change, uh, flip things around a bit. I'm not really sure how I feel about this being on the bottom. Well, this would be on the bottom, you know, of course on the original flavor, it's, it's on the top of the flavor, right? This one is like on the, on the back of it, you say, but it's also on the bottom, but I gonna say like on the back of it. Gonna create some very interesting momentum, but yeah. And we're having another sketch image here from the other side. We can see that it says charging and that's what we talked about. And down here we can see that it, it actually says power or disk, you know, exactly what disk means in this particular case, we're not really sure. And it does say speed here down below and also some other thing here we can see just in the bottom of the device. So this device is going to bring a lot of things, you know, like network cable stuff, you know, uh, you, you, HDMI connectivity. So it's basically going to be a small handheld computer and connect to screens. And you also need some sort of power to it, which is probably why we have to use PCs, uh, at the top of the device. Now, what is very interesting is how powerful this device is going to end up being, because we are seeing other devices on the market <clears throat> competing for the spot right now, what I'm just called interrupt. It's also a handheld with a screen and a keyboard on it with built in, you know, all the things that the Flipper Zero have built in all the, you know, reading cards and NFC and radio shakings and Wi-Fi and so on already with a full Linux system, but it doesn't have like a low power mode or anything like that. And this is more like a, well, comparing to a device with actual keyboard, the Flipper Zero is going to be like more like a optional, you know, not optional, but option ish device that you're going to press on the button and you can pick something from the menu, but definitely going to have a difficulty typing real letters on it, which is why you need a keyboard. Um, and this is going to be the difference, you know, because we have a keyboard and an operating system on a small handheld device, like the interrupt that we also talked about in the video, you can find the link in the description below if you want to see the video, it's on Kickstarter at the moment. Definitely going to go ahead and type a lot of commands running, you know, any, you know, software would like to run, you can install stuff on it and so on. Not saying that you cannot do that on the Fever one, but we still, we still, we're still missing to see some stuff. Whereas the interrupt unit is already in production have been tested and there are already prototypes out there. And this device is still on drawing board, but I guess it's going to get a lot of momentum on the Fever one and it's going to get like a lot of 
popularity and be like a device that's going to be very interesting for people. But yeah, so I think we have a few more sketch images to see. So let's go ahead and check those out. So yeah, we have another sketch image here. It's very boring, but as you can see, it's more like, you know, the thing we already talked about. And it's going to be this with this, like, you know, put it in your, on, on your wrist so you, you don't drop it. So I guess that's the second last. And of course, here we have the very last one. And we can see that how things are being held in place and stuff like that. It does say USB-C right there. But I'm not really sure exactly what this means with this kind of... Is this for, you know... I, this is the language I don't understand. This, I, don't know, I think it's Russian or something like that, but I, I don't really understand that. But, you know, this here, you know, exactly what this is, I'm not sure. Um, it looks like... And if I'm going to be like looking at this without understanding, it probably says it right there, but I'm just not understanding the text. But this looks like a USB-C charger stick connector. And this looks like the, the cord. And you can use it as a as a wrist. Uh, you can put it on the wrist so it doesn't fall off. And it's already connected to USB-C. So you, yeah, I guess that's probably the case here. Um, yeah. So going back to the images again, like the very last one, as uh, for the video here, you know, we're looking at a device called Fibber One. It's going to be very interesting to see this device on the market. I am pretty sure it's going to be quite expensive, but hey, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and probably buy it and we will test it. And I'm, good, I'm definitely going to go ahead and use that device if I can do that for my teaching already on my true education that I teach on. I teach on two different kind of batch educations in cybersecurity and IT security, yes. And maybe we can use this device you know, directly uh, as a Linux computer, but I, I think, I just suspect it's going to be not as powerful as I need. And this is going to be the, the, the bottleneck of it all, I think. But, you know, hey, it's a, it's a small handheld device. We're seeing a lot of different kind of very interesting hacker devices here in 2025 already. And I think you should go ahead and check some of those out because they're going to be very interesting. Whether it's going to be on Kickstarter or not, I'm not really sure. But um, hey, we're going to see it and it probably will be live and probably won't be too many months until we're going to get some more updates. And I will share them all with you here on my channel. So definitely go ahead and you know click the like button and subscribe to my channel to help me further on building and getting this out to the community. All right, so I think for now, I'm just going to say thank you for watching and see you again online. Have a really, really nice day.